Welcome back. We have Dr. Mandy Manick joining us on the show this afternoon. She is with the Interior Chemical Dependency Office, which is located here in Kamloops. And we're talking today about a special forum that is going on at TRU dealing with Fentanyl, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes, Thank you um, I think this is great. I, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't done something like this before, or have we? So there was actually one on March 2nd. It was geared more towards TRU students. Um, our mandate this time is to perhaps uh, engage some of the parents or family members uh, that might find it difficult to attend during the day. So we're having it in the evening this time. Okay, so what will you guys be covering in terms of the fentanyl? So there will be a number of speakers. I'll be one of them. Uh, we'll have uh, Kirsten McLaughlin from, she's a nursing instructor at TRU. She'll be talking about naloxone and naloxone kits. Uh, we'll have um, counselors that deal with uh, youth and adolescents as well as parents from the Raven program. Uh, and my talk will be educating patients on what is an opiate, what is fentanyl, what is carfentanyl, why are they so addictive and why is it so hard to stop using them, and maybe more importantly, where to get help. Mm -hmm. In your line of work, Mandy, I'm sure that you have seen many situations, some yeah. of them very sad. Very sad, yeah, I agree. So we've actually had, uh, this year alone, uh, in January and February, we've had seven deaths. But last year alone in Kamloops, we had 41 deaths. And some of them were our patients, some of them were um, um, sons or daughters of friends of mine, so it really hits close to home. Absolutely. Yeah. We have some slides that we'd mm. like to uh, go through, just sort of to drive the numbers mm -hmm. home. Maybe you can speak to these, Mandy. So, you know, this is a graph of why these medications or, or illicit drugs are so dangerous. And you can see on the uh, left-hand side, we compare everything to morphine. Mm -hmm. And way on the right-hand side, we can see fentanyl. And fentanyl uh, is about 100 times more potent than morphine. So if you're used to using other illicit opiates, uh, including heroin, because you can see that heroin is probably, you know, halfway in the middle, and fentanyl is just so much more potent There's than no that. comparison. There's no comparison. And um, carfentanyl, which is on the bottom one, is a newer uh, synthetic opiate that's just making its way on the scene. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's guesstimates are up to 10,000 times more potent than even fentanyl. Off the charts. Off the charts. Let's move along to the next slide. Oh. What are we seeing here? So this is just an illustration of at, until the end of 2016, uh, what we saw was that the total number of illicit opiate deaths was actually on the increase. But if you um, just take fentanyl, um, and, and you remove the fentanyl in there, that's the bottom dotted line. So the difference uh, in the overdose rates is directly attributed attributed to the uh, fentanyl that's in yeah. the other drugs that are out there. Okay, another slide here as well. Uh, same thing, so in 2016 in the province of BC we had 922 deaths and as you can see it's on a very rapid um, in increase. Uh, so far this year we've already had over 200 deaths in BC alone mm -hmm. um, and this is why it's so important to get help because this illness, the disease of addiction, is fatal. Yeah. Here are some other stats. Uh, interesting that 80% male. Yeah, and actually males between the age of 19 and 49 attribute most of the deaths. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's keep going here. Um, yeah. So this is really important because this is one of the things uh, we'll talk about. Why is it that it's non-opiate users uh, that are actually dying? And so you can see that 50% uh, of the overdose uh, deaths are attributed to cocaine as well as fentanyl. So it's people who think they're using cocaine, it's the recreational once a year, twice a year cocaine user mm -hmm. that has no tolerance to opiates. They're the highest risk of actually dying of an overdose. Mm -hmm. Here's the contact information. Yep. What I would like to ask you is, mm -hmm. do you see this getting worse before it gets better? Do you I think do. we're, you do, yeah. hey? Uh, part of the reason we're having this forum is patients and family members don't know where to get help. Um, and so our, um, you know, uh, approach is that we need to get the word out there that there's actually help for this illness uh, and that people do go into recovery, stable recovery, um, but quitting on your own is really difficult. Uh, the problem is most people don't even know where to go for help. Yeah. So where can they go for help? The information that was on so the screen there. We'll have some other resources, but of course uh, Phoenix Center, our local mm -hmm. detox center, mm -hmm. is a good uh, contact. Yes. Um, the Interior Chemical Dependency Office, and not just for opiates. Uh, we also treat people who are alcohol, uh, cocaine, stimulant, and THC dependent. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people who may be on pain medication that 
don't want to be on them anymore. So we help them safely come off of them. Mm -hmm. And you'll be handing out naloxone kits at this forum. We have naloxone kits. So the World Health Organization, their guidelines say that 90% of the target audience, uh, which can include family and friends, should receive not only the overdose response and how to manage overdose, but that they'll get a kit and 90% of those will actually have a kit on them at all times. So wow. that's what we're doing. We're gonna be training people and um, people who want a kit will have access to one. That's awesome. Yeah. Really appreciate having you on the show. I think you're Thanks, a sir. very valuable resource for our community, obviously. So uh, people will certainly benefit to attend this forum. If you're interested, uh, you can certainly head over to the Barber Center House of Learning on March 30th. It kicks off at seven o'clock. Uh, information is also on the screen, Mandy. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, Thanks. quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.